Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js, Express.js, SQLize and PostgreSQL RESTful API. So today we are going to create the RESTful API with the help of the PostgreSQL and the SQLize in Node.js and Express. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, I will give you the brief one. So first of all, we are going to just create the full CRUD operations okay so this is our CRUD so first of all we have the get users so currently there is no users so first of all we go we get with the post request and here we are adding the name and the email just sending over here so this is first record then we will adding the another one send this one this is second record then get all the list so here we have all the list right and we have to update that one also so let's do the updation part so here we go with the index and here we have the app and let's this is first one post then we can put if you want to update then we have to add the id okay so here we go with the id so let's add this id to update so here rajni 2020 we will going to update with another name and the email right so let's see so name we will put uh, rajesh and here also we will put rajesh okay so let's try to send so it's to be a put request right make it put request then send okay it's true right if i go and just fetch the records okay users and let's make it like get request again and here you can see that the name and the email is changed with that respective ID. Okay, if we want to delete that one, so let me sure just add the delete. So here I need to just add this one ID over here, and you can now delete, make the request delete and make it delete record. User deleted successfully. If I go and just get the request and just remove it over here, now you will get only one record. Okay. So this is basically the full-fledged REST API we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. So first we have the source. Okay. Then we have a config. Make sure each and everything you should note it down carefully. Source. Then we have a config. Then we have a database.js. So this is basically the database.js. So you need to install the SQLize package first. That is npm i SQLize. Okay. So here we have to npm installed express SQLize. Okay, so you need to install this one express and the SQLize. Okay, and if you want to create a, a starting project, then you have to mention npm init hyphen y to create a fresh Node.js project. Okay, if you want to go with the Node.mon, then you can go add the Node.mon as it's not required. Okay, so here we have the config database JS where we have a connecting with the Postgres. So here we have all the details that we have to put it over here. Okay, then module.export. This is first file. Then we have a models. Okay, go with the users model. Okay, so here we have the model part, right? Where we have the name user, and here we have the ID. Then we have a name. Then we have an email. Then we have a query that. Then updated at. Okay, so this is basically the whole fledged model we have. Make sure you have to import this config database from here so that you can define the DB, right? Then here you can export that user. Okay db.sync is important whenever you try to create a table with the help of the model if you are not adding this one then model will not be created make sure it should be added for every model okay this is model then we will go with the app.js okay the first index so here we have the port and on which port it should be listen okay then we have a source app.js this is the main file which we have the routes and the connecting with the db also okay so here we have an express then we have a config database required then model okay then after that we have a db to authenticate whether the data uh, databases credentials are right or wrong so we have authenticating over here now you can see that here <coughs> database connecting successfully right so it's come from here database connected okay then we have a all routes users to fetch all the users this is for the all users you want to fetch so basically await user find all find all will fetch all the users from the model okay if any issue it will catch that error 
next we have a post request where we have creating the users okay so this is basically the post request okay this is post right and here we have the body here you can see that name and the email so you can add anything over here and it will create that one okay so it's basically the post request it will create that user if i go to this one my postgres and just opening this one all data okay so let me add to one more records also if i go and just make the get request now you can see that we have all the data right so let's see in the database also which let me go and check which mod database we are using here so it's basically the test db so let's go and check this one so here we go with the test db okay so let me refresh this one okay then we have to go with the users table okay so we have the user table not the users okay so here you can see that we have all the records like you can see okay so you can see you can check each and every one and you can update the same app dot am right so let's go to the app.js again okay so i think this is very easy so this is basically the express.json so it accepts the json part so we are you, you can also use the body parser for the accepting the json or url encode form okay then we have this get one okay routes so you, this is simple logic that i am writing then we have a post users okay <clears throat> this is basically the post one right then we have a put request where we have accepting the requ request dot body okay so here we have a name and the email and the params id so on the behalf of it we are updating so user dot update and returning that one okay then we have a delete the last operations just pass the id and just user dot destroy will help you to delete that user successfully okay so this is how we are able to create the rest api with the help of the postgres sql sqlize node.js and express any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section and on which file we are running that is node index.js so here we have the index.js file we have required source app index app.js then we have a port defined then we have on which port it should be listened so this is how we are able to create the rest api with the help of the sqlize and the postgres any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day